morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today, as promised, I'm going to walk you through the new 2025 Winnebago Revel. This unit is actually available and it is stock number 5N240183, so keep that in mind if you're interested. Uh, I'm going to start on the outside and kind of walk you through some of the cool upgrades they did for the 25 model. This is still on the Sprinter chassis, the 25 chassis. Uh, it does have the new all-wheel drive. It's a four-cylinder now, not a six-cylinder. Uh, so it's a two-liter, 280 horsepower uh, twin turbo. So it's a really nice unit to have. The wheels are cool. I got to show you these. So they used to use the Method wheels. They're still doing the KO2 tires, but now these are Winnebago wheels that were designed specifically for the Revel. I really like that, it kind of makes them stand out. I'm glad they kept the same tires because I'm a big fan of those. They upgraded the running boards, as you can see. These are really nice, a little wider, give you a little bit more room to climb in and out. I got to tell you, I'm a Jeeper, so I love when you see the little Jeep emblems all over the Jeeps, it's kind of like find Waldo. Where's Waldo? Check this out, you have the little Revels cut out in there. Same port slight as last year's model. Uh, same awning from Carefree. As we walk around the back here, you can see up top, new improved uh, rack up on top. So you can see on the side here, there's another Revel cut out up top. Kind of cool. I like this color. This is a selenite exterior color. Luggage rack, the roof rack up top on the back. You can see it's got the lights up there. Really nice clean finish. I, I like that that they covered the, the bars that they normally have. It kind of looked a little, little cheap before. I really like this look. Big upgrade. Now you have a permanent ladder on the back side. Um, you have a Sherpa here. Again, Revel cutouts in here. Got to point that out. I'm going to try to climb up there in this wind so I can show you what this looks like. Maybe give you a little entertainment if I fall. All right, so you can see up here, we've got our two solar panels, our max fan, and then of course our air conditioner. This has a really nice finish to it. It's got kind of like the Rhino line texture. Really nice, gives you plenty of grip. All right, a couple things I want to point out back here. They completely redesigned this back. This is actually low enough now that you can sit back here and have room for, you know, unless you're seven foot tall, you can actually sit back here and sit down. Uh, set up a little table, gives you a nice little area. The bed was also redone. Uh, the mattress, I'll show you inside, a lot more comfortable, a lot just nicer feel to it. The other big thing back here is they were doing the 320 amp hour batteries. Now this standard comes with the 7.5 kilowatt battery pack. Here's your disconnect for that. Here's your light switch for under the, the bed. So when the bed is down, you need to get stuff out from under the garage. You're going to have a portable solar panel plug in right here. So if you want to add to the two panels that are on the roof, 12 volt outlet. Over on this side is your water base. You can have your outdoor shower, water pump, and your freshwater inlet. We keep all of our coaches this time of year winterized, so we, this is winterized. This switch here is going to turn your, uh, your scene light over your porch light on the driver's side. I'll leave that on so you can see it when we come around. Nice storage area right here above your breakers and fuses. If you add the second battery, so you can actually upgrade this to 15 kilowatt hours or kilowatts, so you can actually you'd lose a little bit of storage there, but you'd get more power. So depends on what kind of off-grid camping you're gonna do. We've got six L-Track tie-downs down here. 
really nice feature. I, I got to tell you, I'm a big fan of this of the upgrades they did to this. Uh, we have the insulation uh, kit on this for the windows, so it's going to have one of these on all of the windows inside. Up top, you can see the backup camera. Of course, we're going to have our 5,000 pound, 5,000 pound towing capacity hitch back here receiver, seven pin connector. There's that porch light on the driver's side. 30 amp service. Again, so we all know most of most of the rebel folks, you're not really going to campsites, you're not plugging in, but if you're at home getting ready for a trip, you can actually plug in at home. Another cool feature on this, uh, on the 25 build, is they upgraded the fresh water capacity to 35 gallons. So it really gives you a, a big boost for off-grid camping. Same five gallon cassette toilet as before. Down here is your gray tank valve. You can dump that. Again. Nice finished running boards, wider. Really makes it easy getting in and out of the van. Here is your diesel fill. Fuses under the seat, under the driver's side. That hasn't changed. Again, your seats have a lot of adjustments on these. This is one of the cool things about the Revel. You can adjust the front height. You can extend this out for more leg support. You can lift it or lower it on the back side here with this lever. And then there's a dial back here for your backrest. So a lot of adjustments. You can set it to be a perfect comfy ride for you. Power windows, power door locks, and power mirrors. Your hood release is going to be right here. Under the hood again, like I mentioned, smaller engine. We're now doing a four-cylinder, uh, twin turbo, nice torque, uh, good fuel mileage. So it's really nice to have uh, more space in here, a lot of space in here. Easy access to your windshield wiper fluid, your oil fill, coolant. Your def is going to be over here on the left side. If you need to give or get a boost, here's your positive terminal connection and then your ground is going to be right there on the side. None of that has changed for 25. You still have the step here so you can climb up if you need to clean your windshield. You can see up top we now have a light bar up there. We've got two different lights. Those are 11,000 lumens each and you have the nice Revel uh, logo up there on the front. I'm going to open this up so I can swivel the seat around for you. All right, here's we open the side door. A couple things have changed. Now on your table, it doesn't have the chain anymore. You just have this strap that's easy to adjust so you can level out. It's got a magnet that holds it. You have your fresh drains, uh, tank drains down here. Ram grab bar here to help you in and out of the van. We're gonna have the same refrigerator that's easy to access from the outside. So you can load up your groceries. I gotta tell you, I'm a fan of this wood color. Uh, I'll show you when we get inside, but I really think it goes well with the black trims. All right, couple other things. We do still have our roll lift screen here. So if you're trying to get some fresh air circulating through your van, perfect way of doing that.
For all you guys that have older models, you know, 2019, 2020s, if you've been waiting for a big upgrade, uh, even a 21 or 22 now, uh, the, the uh, changes they've made, I think are very well worth maybe upgrading to a new model. Um, part of my favorite thing about this is the seats. If you remember the seats in the other Revel model, they're really tight, not a lot of space. If you're trying to put car seats in here, um, or if you have kids and you don't want them fighting, this was not a very good spot. Now, you can actually extend the side seat here. Gives you plenty of elbow room here. The other thing you can do is pull it forward and actually recline it. So now those long trips don't feel as long because you can actually be a little comfortable, kind of relax. You can actually set it. You don't have to go all the way out. You can just move it out a little bit depending on who you have with you. Another cool feature of this seat sliding out is now they gave you this cool counter extension. You can sit in this seat here, set up your laptop. You can work from here while you're looking out the window, looking at the lake or the mountains. This cutting board's really cool. Your induction cooktop is now in here. So they did a really good job with this. The other thing I like is the new latches that they're using. These are really secure, keeps everything nice and tight, less rattles. I'm gonna grab this table out. Actually, let me move this forward so I could show you. So you do have your lagoon table back here. So not only do you have more space, now you have the lagoon table, you can adjust height width. Um, it's bigger too, it's a lot of room here, so you can actually sit down and eat and not feel like you have a little tiny spot to eat on. Or if you wanna work up here, you can put your laptop on here. Really, really nice to have. And then this storage back here, there's actually a really nice rail right here that it fits in. Keeps it from rattling. And then you do have a tie down strap too. Nice upgrade. Again, I can't, uh, if you live in the area and you wanna come check out, check this out, let me know. Cause you really have to sit in these to see the difference. Then we have our, our day and night shades like before. But this one's equipped with the insulation package here so you can keep the cold out, keep the heat in. Up here it's gonna be kind of similar to the same other than the, than the latches. You're gonna have your roof access port, standard outlet, a 12 volt. And here you're gonna have, they've actually changed it. They used to do two USBs and now they do one USB and one USB type C. A lot of the phones now are going to that type C. Here on the main wall here, you're gonna have your displays here. So uh, check your tank levels and battery levels here. Turn on your water pump, you have your light switches, and then your bed. I wanna show you something on the bed there. You can see right away how thick the mattress is compared to before. I tell you, it's a lot nicer, a lot uh, more comfortable when you lay down. They also give you now a privacy curtain here, which is really cool. You can still get under the bed if you need to access stuff that's under there. That you've got stored down there. But this is really nice when you're trying to go to sleep. things like that really make a big difference and I think they've done a really good job of kind of listening and making upgrades that people wanted again new latch there the shower door used to be an accordion door now it's a 
We got two doors. Mirror on this left side door. When it's time to get ready, you got a place to check it out. Make sure you've got a nice clean shave. Same toilet, everything else in here is the same. You do still have your uh, shelf here for storage. They do give you these two little uh, foldable bins there. Got the shower curtain in there and the shower hose. Another cool feature that's a really smart idea. This is kind of a privacy curtain here. So if you're in here getting ready, you can actually have a little bit of privacy. It's got a magnet that holds it closed. I gotta tell you, now that you lock it with that new latch, I mean, it's solid. You're not gonna hear, I'm gonna say you're gonna get a lot less rattles going down the road. I mean, I drove it from across the street to here and I noticed a big difference. There's also two vents down here. Nice storage with soft closing drawers. Perfect spot for a wastebasket. Again, little upgrades that make a big difference on this. All right, here you're gonna have a standard outlet, and again, another USB and a USB type C. You have your storage basket here next to the sink, so you can put you know, your sponges or whatever you wanna put in there. They also give you a little towel holder right there with the Winnebago logo. Overhead storage. Even soft closing on these. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna lift up the bed and show you what's under there. All right, as I mentioned earlier, when we were outside, you can actually sit down here now. Uh, you can see they, they lowered this side and gave you a bigger cushion so that the bed levels out, but they actually made it a perfect size to be able to sit in here. You can put a little table in here. You just need to put yourself in time out. Maybe you've had a rough day and you need to get away from everybody. This is a good place to do that. You can close your curtain, have a little meditation time or whatever. Under here, you're gonna have your light switches. and an outlet here. And then I'm gonna lower the bed and show you one thing that I forgot to mention. Let me move these cushions over. Take the camera here and show you guys. All right, so over here on the wall, you're gonna have USB and a USB type C on both sides so that no matter what side you're laying on, you have access to that. You have these little cargo nets there so you can put your phone in there, your keys. Up here's your air conditioner. And you can't access that with the Bluetooth app as well. Thank you. Now, I think that pretty much covers everything in here. Overhead, you have an LED, you have your light strip here, and you have your storage overhead. So blackout shades for the front windows, and this one's equipped with the uh, air bed that goes in, in the front seats there. So for additional sleeping, if you got somebody who's not too tall and they fit across here. As I mentioned, these seats do swivel around. Um, so now you have the table that goes there. You have this, this extension here. So you got lots of different places that you can sit down, eat, or sit down and work. Do a little bit of both. To swivel the seat, you're gonna move it forward. 
This center lever is going to allow it to swivel around. And now we can kind of go through the cab here. I'll fire this up. Parking brake is engaged. We can push it down, same as before. It stays active, stays engaged. We can swivel our seats around so we're not hitting the brake. As I mentioned earlier, this wood grain makes it, kind of gives it a nice classy look in my opinion. Uh, looks really nice. Same thing here as before. You have on the steering wheel mouse pad basically that allows you to go through everything on your stereo. The left side is going to allow you to go through everything on your gauge up here. So you're going to be able to scroll through. You can set your cruise control here. It is adaptive, so you can set how many car lengths you want to be, how far you want to be behind the uh, person in front of you. You can make your phone calls from here. Your shifter is going to be right here. Pretty simple, nothing else has changed. This is going to be your light bar switch, so that's where you turn on those, the light bar up top. And then that's, this is an all-wheel drive, so that's going to be your downhill uh, descent. Your keys, again, same thing. This hasn't changed from before. There's a spot down here where you can put your key fob in. And then also down here, you're going to have your 12-volt outlet and a USB Type-C connection. Your heating and cooling's right here. Your fan speed's on the right and your temperature on the left. Hazard lights are in the middle. You can do this touch screen or you can use the buttons down here. So here's your camera, different camera angles. It's really cool, you can see your 360. And then different angles on the back, which is really nice if you're towing a small trailer, maybe towing another uh, toy behind you. You can actually change the view of the rear camera there. So, up top, we still have our media cubby here with the wireless charging pad, USB Type-C outlets in there, and also a 12-volt outlet. And your storage box is on both sides. So, again, none of that has changed. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, if you want additional pictures, if you want to do a FaceTime video with me, please let me know. Uh, I'm available typically Tuesday through Saturday to do those. That's when I'm here on the lot. Um, give me a call if you have questions on this or any other unit. Uh, si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys for uh, watching, and I'll see you next week.